what it is that they're doing in this corporate world, they get trained to be like, oh, I've got to prove my worth by looking like I'm so busy. You know, time served, nine till five. If you feel like you're forced to do it to prove your worth, that I'm here to bring to you today the transition from going from that to business, like real business, businesses that will create a position for you. You see, most people, what it is that they're doing in this corporate world, they get trained to act like their job is really hard. They get trained to, to be like, oh, I've got to prove my worth by looking like I'm so busy and I've got all this workload and all the rest of it. Like, do you think people could walk around corporate companies like, hey guys, yeah, just relaxing, just having a conversation. Let me go outside for a bit, take my shoes and socks off and go and walk on the grass. Like people who'd be like, why are you not busy enough? You need to be, you know, time served, nine till five, or if most most businesses will have their way, you know, 7 a.m. till, you know, 10 a.m. at night. Now, if you work those times out of your own choice, that's fine. But if you feel like you're forced to do it to prove your worth, that is exactly what that type of sector wants from you. But the, the transition from going from that to business, like real business, businesses that care about people, businesses that allow growth in exponential ways. I'm not like talking about you have to wait for someone to you know, either move job or leave to take a position. I'm talking about businesses that will create a position for you. But I train people all over the world and a lot of people they go into wanting to run their own business and a lot of people have started a property business and they've gone from working the nine to five almost being forced to get up and how do they make the transition? Here are some steps that you can use yourself to make sure that you are not falling into the abyss. What's the abyss? That trap of well like I'm not really accountable to anyone or anything anymore. How do I still drive my business forward? And the first thing is, is you've got to have like plans like what this is. This is like what we call the MGOT. So you've got to know you understand your mission, what your goals are, your outcomes, set some targets to deliver those outcomes and have a schedule to be able to stick to it. So that is one of the first things you've got to do. You've got to be able to set all of that things up, knowing what the mission is and why you're here and get crystal clear on it, right down to the schedule of what am I supposed to be doing each moment. What would happen if you did that? If you just did the priority the whole time? 24-7. People are like, oh Mark, but it's not all about work. You know, like I, I've got other things to do, I'm passionate about it. Well, that's the point. When that's the priority, can you devote your entire time to that? When the priority is be with your children, are you able to devote your whole time to it? Or are you still, you know, looking on your phone like, oh wow, I've got some work to do, maybe someone's making a call, maybe someone posted or commented on my thing. Or are you fully there? When it's date night, if that exists for some people, I know it doesn't, but if you have a date night dedicated to your relationship, can you be there fully? Is that the priority? So if you're doing the priority 24-7, 365, what results would you then get? That's the question. Because when I've helped train people to do this in their own businesses, when we do this in our own businesses, results do fly. You know, the next thing, in fact, you've got to make sure that you're celebrating all of your wins, especially in a fast-paced environment. In corporate, I can't remember celebrating at all. You know, like sometimes we had a sales team, sometimes we had a bit of this and a bit of that, but really what it came down to is just like, what's the next thing? Did you do it? Like, don't celebrate too much. You know, you must get on to, with work. You know, like, like, don't spend too far away from your desk type of thing. Well, the truth is, when you get yourself away from your desk and you go outside, you actually rejuvenate yourself, recharge yourself, and get ready for the next one thing. You know, I'm actually teaching my guys all the time, and I taught many other people to do the same, is working 50 minute sprints. So every one hour, you do a 50 minute sprint, 10 minutes, go do something else. Get up, go and walk, have a drink, have a banana, do some push ups, have a dance, listen to some music, go outside, get some fresh air. Let's just do something for 10 minutes, then back, another 50 minute sprint, and keep that cycle going. If, you, if that's the only thing that you take from this video, I promise you, you're going to see your productivity go through the roof. But it takes discipline and you've got to be able to stick to it. So here's something that happens. Some people, they go through their career and at some point they're going to be upset. They're upset with their results, they're upset with their job, their boss, the amount of money they're making or the amount of money that they don't have at the end of the month. They, they become upset. Now, what is the opposite of upset? 
Most people would think it's like, well, opposite of upset would be happy, joyful, loving life. Well, actually, it could be those things, but the opposite of upset is the set up. So that's another thing that you need to implement within your life because you've got to get set up. Anytime that you're upset, it's because there's a problem with the setup. Either there wasn't one or it's broken down in some way. So you've got to get things set up. Actually, I was just talking to one of my team here and actually one of the setups on our construction projects was not done and it's broken down and it's causing lots of upset. So we actually got to go back to the set up and agree the turn, say like, this is where we're at. This is how we're going to finish the project and set up finishing the product. It's too late to go set the start of the project up now. So there's lots of upset, so no point in doing that. I can't do anything about the past anymore. Just can set it up to finish the project. So you've got to get your day set up. Most people in the corporate world, is, again, they wake up, they rush around, they drop their kids off, do whatever, and then get to work. And they're not set up at all to then go and produce in the day. You have got to make sure, if you're going to make the transition from that world into this world, the real world, yeah, real business, then you've got to make sure that you're set up. Take time to do the things for yourself. Be selfish in the morning. Meditation is a good thing. In the corporate world, it's all woo-woo. But I, tell you, I promise you, it's going to bring calmness, productivity, concentration, and focus. Another thing is uh, like some kind of stretching, some kind of yoga, or something like that. Another thing is get outside in some way, shape, or form. You know, get your feet on the earth. People tend to not do this in the winter, but I promise you, even if it's for 30 seconds a minute, it will make a huge difference. In the summer, it's a joyous thing, and probably people do do it a lot. But like, you've got to be touching the earth. Writing your goals down. Now, I actually have a program called the Dream Building and Manifestation Program. If you want more information on that, message, reach out somehow. Um, but this is like knowing what you want, why you want it, and how to pull it and attract it into your life. Does, did you, do your corporate business ever ask you what you want? Maybe they ask you one day, but then never ask you again. This is a daily thing. Your goals are like, oh, let me use the business vehicles to get my goals. The next thing is read a book. You know, most people, they pick up books, put them down, don't ever finish them. That's actually okay if that's what your intention is. But if your intention is to finish it, then make sure you put a start date and an end date of the book so you finish it on that, based on how many pages you're gonna read a day. If not, then what you might wanna do is just set a timer to say, I'm gonna read for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and you just go to a random book on a random page and open it up. There is magic in this. I mean, we teach this in depth so people can employ this immediately and get benefits in their life, in their relationship, in their business, increases in their income, their mental health, their emotional health, their spiritual connection and zest for life. As you can tell, I'm slightly excited about talking about this stuff because I love it because it changed my life and it's changed thousands of other people's lives. And if you want to learn this stuff and then do it as well, it will change your life too. So don't forget to subscribe for this channel. If you've had value here, share it. Let some other people know about this. I want to spread the world. You know, that this information needs to get out to the masses because we've got to transform businesses. That's our mission. Our mission is to get everybody on the planet free living in harmony, doing whatever they want, working together. We create businesses that people want to work for and either everybody's gonna come and work for us or the industry will have to change. I think it's probably the latter because then people will be like, right, you know, to be successful, to get to hold, a, hold on to the best team members and grow my business, I've got to really care for what it is that they want and not just have the business as a vehicle for me. But that's a big problem, actually. Most business owners, they're not even using their own business as a vehicle, so how can they set up their team to use it as a vehicle to get what they want as well? Anyway, that's enough for this video. If you liked it, subscribe, hit the share button as well. And until next time, do the right thing for the right reason, because that is the only way you're going to discover your true potential.